Yellowstone Volcano. How Norris Geyser Activity Forced Scientists to Take Action. Yellowstone Volcano scientists were forced to take drastic action after increased activity was recorded at Norris Geyser, revealed in declassified documents. Yellowstone Volcano is a supervolcano located beneath Yellowstone National Park in the western U.S. It straddles the states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho and is closely monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS, for its potential to cause global disasters. No such event has occurred for 630,000 years and no such serious activity has occurred for more than 70,000 years. However, an incident in 2003 caused scientists to worry. Increased emissions of heat and steam at the North Geyser Basin caused USGS researchers to step up their efforts to monitor for changes. A 2003 report explained. Activity at the Norris Geyser Basin is increasing and scientists are recording higher ground temperatures and seeing more geyser eruptions. To better understand Yellowstone's hydrothermal system, a temporary network of monitoring equipment was installed, eventually followed by a more robust network. Ten temperature sensors were placed in various stream channels and thermal features within the Norris Geyser Basin. The units are battery-powered and small enough to be placed around the Geyser Basin without being seen. The new network allows scientists to monitor the geysers every few minutes and get reports on daily changes. The USGS website explains, Currently, they are programmed to record temperatures every two minutes. Radio transmits the recorded values daily to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO. Automatic plots are then created to provide daily, weekly, and monthly temperature values. The website also explains how the new technology allows scientists to continuously monitor the supervolcano and watch for changes. It continues. The new system has several advantages for YVO and the public. First, the data can be viewed within 24 hours of the measurement, allowing for rapid assessment of changing conditions. Equipment failures can be detected quickly, allowing us to identify and repair any problems. Finally, if needed, the equipment can be requested directly by YVO scientists. The USGS website also reveals how scientist Greg Vaughn made the abnormal discovery after using NASA's MODIS and ASTER thermal satellites. It reads, Vaughn used nighttime MODIS data to establish background thermal patterns and measure how much temperatures would have to change to be detectable by modern space-based techniques. Most of the natural thermal changes in Yellowstone over the past decade have been around the detection limits of these techniques, providing hope for future monitoring during more active periods. The Aster data cover a smaller area with greater spatial detail, about 90 meters per pixel. Vaughn was able to use Aster to create maps showing areas experiencing abnormal amounts of heat loss, called thermal anomalies and also to estimate surface temperatures and other aspects of heat flow in Yellowstone. 